very fast. Hi everyone, who wants to kick us off? Okay guys, are you ready? Welcome here in Prague for this uh, press conference for the UEFA Europa Conference League final between West Ham United and uh, Fiorentina. On stage today, we have Thomas Suchet and uh, Jared Bowen from uh, West Ham United. Uh, we kindly ask you to ask your question in English, in Italian, or in Czech. It will be simultaneous translation. And um, also switch off your mobile phone, please. We don't want to be disturbed between, during the press conference. And uh, let's start. Please. Sorry. I'll wait for the, the microphone, please. And state your name and your media company first. Simon Stone, BBC. Um, you're back home. What would it mean to win a European trophy for West Ham in your home country? <laughs> so when I realized uh, like uh, one year ago that uh, the final is in Prague and we are in this competition, for me it was like, uh, come on guys, we have to go there. So it's like a big goal uh, for this year. And now we are here, we are in uh, Eden Arena in Prague. So I can connect like uh, my uh, uh, two teams, uh, what I love. And uh, when, uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow is the chance to lift the trophy here. So I do like, or we do everything. And uh, for me, it will be special uh, when, uh, th when that is final is in Prague. Next question, please. Uh, Alistair Bruce Ball from BBC Radio 5 Live. A uh, question for, for both of you. Um, you will be well aware of how many thousands of fans have, have travelled out here to support the club. I was chatting to a, to a couple of them in the main square today who are still pinching themselves that they're here watching West Ham compete for a major European trophy. How important is it for you guys to win it, to try and win it, not just for yourselves, not just for the club, uh, but, but for the West Ham fans? Yeah, no, I think it's, it's, it's massive. Um, and like you said about pinching yourself, it probably is that as well, because... I've been here three years and if you told me that we'd be in the European final three years later, I would have bit your hand off. Um, you know, last year we was obviously so disappointed to lose in the semi-final. So that probably gave us that extra, extra bit of motivation to do it, to do it this year. And I think with the season that we've had as well, I think adds into wanting to make it do it even more to make it even more special for us. Um, but like you said, the fans are traveling out here in, I don't know how many numbers, but the the fan base here is is incredible and we want to win it like you said for for us for our teammates but mainly the fans yeah, as uh, Jared said, if our fans are incredible. How many of them uh, is coming? Even they don't have tickets. So uh, West Ham has a great history, but uh, we can uh, make even better after many years uh, uh, to get uh, the trophy for this club. It can be like honor for all of us, and uh, we want to do for us and for all like West Ham fans. Front row. Buon pomeriggio, Simone Bargellini, Viola News e, e Radio Bruno. Eh, a Thomas vorrei chiedere una curiosità. Qualche anno fa, prima che arrivassi a, al West Ham, si parlò tantissimo di un interesse della Fiorentina per te. Ti chiedo se effettivamente sei stato vicino alla Fiorentina, se è stata una piccola sliding doors della, della sua carriera e, e invece voglio chiedere anche a Bowen cosa sapete, co cosa avete studiato della Fiorentina, cosa temete della Fiorentina. Grazie. So I can agree that uh, I got interest uh, by uh, Fiorentina uh, just uh, six months before uh, I came to West Ham. Uh, but uh, I, uh, for me, it was an honor uh, that uh, I got interest. I appreciate it a lot. But I was uh, in Slavia Prague and we got uh, just uh, to the group of Champions League. And I wanted to play uh, Champions League uh, with Slavia Prague. Uh, in the group, so I stayed uh, six months later, and after that I got an uh, offer from Vezhen. Yeah, and um, for me, um, obviously we've seen a lot of Fiorentina, we've done our preparation on them, and you know, it's it's a final, you don't get to a final for being a, a bad team, so we respect them a lot um, and what they do, and you know, they've scored a lot of goals in this competition, so that's one of their, their main threats. Um, but listen, it's, it's a final or we'll try and stop what they're good at and try and exploit what we feel that we can in the game. Please. 
Hello, Kerry Brown, B in Sports. A question to both of you. Your captain, Declan Rice, uh, old before his years, could follow Billy Bonds and Bobby Moore to be the next captain to lift the trophy. What has he been saying to you all? And Jared, you connect so well with him. What has he done to help lift both of your games and to ease the nerve here? And also very quickly to you, Jared, uh, he marked the news that you were expecting twins with goals against Everton. How much would you like to mark it here today, tomorrow? Uh, well, the first question about about Deck is, you know, he's still so young, and to, for him to be captain tomorrow, leading out in the European final for him is a is a massive honour for him. And you know, we all respect him as a captain. He's a he's a he's a top captain, um, and we all we all in it together that we that we want to win. So, listen, Dex has has been, you know, a great captain following Nobes. You know, it was never going to be an easy thing. Um, replacing Nobs as captain, but I think Dex has stepped in and for his age as well, um, and looked looked so natural so, so natural at it. Um and yeah, the the twins are, are here now. Um so now I wanna I wanna score just one would be nice. I mean if it's two, I'll take two, but yeah, scoring scoring tomorrow is obviously what I've what I've thought about. Yeah, as Jared said, that uh, Deco is a great uh, player on and off the pitch. And uh, so if he leads us uh, tomorrow uh, as well uh, to get trophy, uh, he's the right person uh, to have uh, the captain on his arm. Hi, uh, Emilio Lezama from Mexico, El Universal. Um, how uh, do you prepare uh, personally, not at a team level, but in a personal level for a final like this? Uh, what do you read? What do you listen to? Do you, is there any specific method? And the second question would be: um, Every team has something special, and you were not born at West Ham. What makes West Ham a special club to you now? I think for me, um, it feels like one big, big family. This is the, the second question. It feels. Like we're all one big family. Um, since since I've been here, the the fans have welcomed me with open arms, and you know, I've been lucky that the the group here has been so so special over the last few years. And we've had some some great times, um, but I think this tomorrow would would top it off to the to the top. So for me, it would be I think the fan base that we have here and that kind of family culture that has been created here. Um, for me, I'd say that's one of the the best things about this club. Uh, about the club uh, is also we came uh, at the same time and it's now three and a half years so uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's a lot of uh, like uh, time of our career so uh, uh, I played here in uh, at the stadium for this uh, club uh, Slavia Prague uh, like many years but this uh, three and a half years it's, it's a lot and uh, I will remember uh, like uh, forever and appreciate uh, especially when uh, the fans appreciate me I uh, it put uh, a lot of uh, like respect between us and uh, if we think about preparation, uh, it's it's a final. It's a big game uh, tomorrow, and uh, uh, we uh, prep, uh, we want to pre be ready, like individually and uh, even in team uh, uh, preparation. So it's uh, it's the final big game. So that's mean uh, big preparation in uh, every piece. Tomáš Petr Český rozhlas, dobrý den. Tomáš, já se chci zeptat, jestli jste ve stejné kabině, jako když jste býval ve Slávi, nebo jestli jste jako hostující tým v té druhé, případně si jste na svém místě a kolik známých budete mít na tribuně, jak velký byl zájem o lístky, díky. Uh, tak uh, si můžu v češtině. Uh, tak uh, na kabinu máme vlastně domácí, uh, jsme, jsem za to rád, jsme sice napsaný jako hostující tým, budeme mít hostující drezy, ale jsem o to radši, že máme domácí šatnu, máme vlastně tribunu sever, na kterou jsem taky zvyklý uh, ze Slávě, takže za to jsem hrozně rád, bude mi to přehodně připomínat uh, vlastně moje časy, uh, jak, jak vlastně z Slávy, anebo i v reprezentaci, uh, když tady hrajeme, takže na ty nejlepší časy a já jenom doufám, že mi to dá uh, i pohodlí do zápasu a předvedu pak i individuálně výkon tomu, jako tomu bylo vlastně v letech slavistických. A co se týče šatny, tak Kusto se mě ptal už, kde sedím, teď jsme tam přišli, tak už jsem mu vysvětloval, který je moje místečko, tak už je on to ví. Dobrý den, Jiří Čehák, jedna z CZ. Hello everybody, 
to, but I will continue in Czech. A Tomáši, tady v této místnosti jste strávil docela dost času, ale asi předpokládám, nikdy jste tady nezažil takový nával. A vůbec ten stadion znáte, každý kout znáte, znáte i hřiště, všechno. Bude to pro vás zítra výhoda, že tohle hřiště znáte opravdu detailně, anebo třeba vás může svozovat trochu nervozita, bude to největší zápas vaší kariéry, předpokládám, že to tak asi vnímáte. A ještě taková podotázka, když jste sem přijeli teď s Váďou Coufalem, je třeba něco konkrétního, co jste si vybavili, nějaká konkrétní vzpomínka, opravdu něco, co vám hned, hned přišlo na mysl. Děkuji. Tak já věřím, že mi to právě spíš pomůže, že se tady budu cítit jako doma, budu se cítit komfortně a hnedka vlastně od příjezdu na stadion půjdu vlastně do šatny, kterou znám, půjdu na hřiště, na rozcvičku, kterou znám, uvidím tam vlastně fanoušky ve zhemu, který taky skvěle znám, takže se cítím komfortně už teď, když jsme sem přišli jenom na procházku na stadion, teď na tiskovce, tady jsem byl taky několikrát, takže cítím se komfortně a jenom se těším o to víc, čím vlastně to díl probíhá, tak se těším víc na ten zejtřek. A co se týče vzpomínek, tak hnedka vlastně, když jsme přišli do tunelu, sice je přesto teď konferenční liga plagáty, ale hnedka vzpomínám na fotky, které tam, který tam jsou pod tím, na mnoho fotek z Ligy mistrů, mnoho fotek z titulu, napsaný jména, takže na to si vzpomínám a samozřejmě hnedka vidím pak posilovnu, vidím šatnu a mnoho věcí, kde se cítím jako doma. Hi to both of you. Um, Jacob Steinberg from the Guardian. The Fiorentina manager last week said that he would look to disrupt your game with tactical fouls. Obviously, you're quite a counter-attacking side. So, how much of a concern is that for you, and how important is it, especially after what happened with uh, the Frankfurt game last year, where things seem to get on top of you, to to manage your emotions and and take care of the details in this game? Um, I wouldn't say. I think last year is is done. Um, in terms of what what happened, it was unfortunate the situation that happened with a, a red card quite early on. Um, and in terms of the Fiorentina manager, I'm sure there's probably been a lot more talk in the build up to this because it's a final and it's probably any way of trying to disrupt a game plan or something. But we're we're focused on what we know that we want to do. Um, and until you get out on the pitch, you never fully know what's what to expect from an opposition team. So. It's about finding out quickly um, and not changing your game plan, but seeing because we prepare for what we think is going to happen. And then on the pitch, things happen. It's down to us players to be adaptable to changes if it needs changes uh, on the pitch. We'll take uh, the very last question. Then um, David Moyes will join us for the second part of the press conference. So one last question, and then we, we change. Hello, Jared and Thomas. Uh, Gary from Sky. You've spoken already a, about Declan. I think it's the worst kept secret in football that he's probably going to take the chance to move and onto the next challenge of his career. The fans, West Ham fans, don't blame him for taking that opportunity. How, how do his teammates feel about that? Our teammates are excited to go out to a final together tomorrow with him as our captain because, in a, like I said, when I first signed, I'd never in my wildest dreams think that we'd be playing in European final three years later. Um, so to be here and to be so close to winning a trophy for for all of us, it's you know I've I said before that you know we're teammates but we're friends as well. So to do it with your teammates, your friends, um, and to win it for for everybody um, would be you know it's it would be so special. So that's what our, our focus is is on. Yeah, that's fine. Also, we just concentrate uh, on the football tomorrow. And actually, we can take one last question because David Moyes is still on the pitch. So if anyone wants to ask one more question, uh, it's now. Maybe the man in blue at the back, please. Hello, Jared Thomas, Sam Matapace from uh, Talk Sport. It hasn't been the easiest of seasons, um, but um, what do you put that down to, first of all? And secondly, do you feel as if you're coming into form at just the right time? I think we could probably be here hours if we wanted to go and try and figure out what went, what went wrong um, in the season for us. But I think the main thing throughout the season was one we stayed up in the in the league, and it's not something to to celebrate because this this club doesn't want to be, you know, celebrating just staying in the Premier League. It wants the standards that we've set. We expect more, but that was a situation that we faced. Um, so that was the 
the first goal and then the next goal now is to to win it, win this trophy. Um, I think we've, like you said, come into a really good bit of form into the back end of the season. Um, so we've had a bit of a bit of time off now since the Leicester game. We haven't played for I don't know how how long it is. So you know we're mentally ready, um, physically ready um, for a massive game tomorrow night. Yeah, the season is up and down, and uh, today or tomorrow we can uh, just uh, yeah, change this season uh, for un unbelievable season uh, if uh, we uh, leave the trophy. So uh, we uh, want to do it. The man in green at the back, please. Thank you, Harit Zatrian, Armenian Press. Uh, my question is uh, to both. So this is the last game of the season, and considering that you are at 14th uh, place, uh, there is no other chance, if not winning, to play in Europe. So which motivates you? The cup, the trophy, or playing next season in Europe? I think that we can pick uh, just one thing because uh, we have been pl uh, playing uh, European competition two years in a row and all of us uh, enjoying that and we want uh, another year so to put a uh, third year in a row. So that's uh, the big goal, but uh, to get the trophy, to get the medal, uh, gold medal is uh, another thing, another level and making history. So uh, we can put uh, just one thing, I want, uh, we want to win and take both. Okay, last one. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, it's uh, Kieran Gill from Daily Mail. Have you both been practicing penalties? I imagine all the guys have, and do you fancy yourselves taking one if it gets to that? We've prepared for, for that because, you know, it's, it's a final and we understand that it could go all that way to, to penalties. And sometimes you can, I find you can take too many and then... You know, you might you might miss. So I think it's it's quite natural taking taking penalties. Of course, you you practice the the place that you want to put them and the the situation. But I think to replicate the kind of the pressure that a penalty shootout is 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 difficult. It's all about picking your sides and hoping you know you you score the goal. So we've prepared for it, like I said, because we know that it it could come up tomorrow. So we've done everything right in terms of the preparation for it. So we'll see tomorrow if it's needed. So thanks a lot to Jared and uh, Thomas for your time. David Moyes will join us in a few seconds. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Thanks, everyone. Um, yes, you can. Yeah. This one. Yeah. This one. Yeah.